The units of production method for depreciation is based on how much a company uses the asset. When a company buys an asset, they estimate how many units the equipment or asset can produce over its useful life. As an example, let's say that a company purchases a piece of equipment for $3,000. The company estimates that the asset has a useful life of 5,000 units and the salvage value is $500. Create a depreciation schedule for the asset. In order to create the depreciation schedule, we must first calculate the depreciation per unit. And the formula for that is depreciation per unit equals the cost of the asset minus the residual or salvage value divided by the total estimated units produced. From our example, plugging into the formula, we have $3,000, the cost of the asset, minus $500, the salvage value, divided by 5,000, the total estimated units produced over the useful life of the asset. And this calculates to 50 cents as the depreciation per unit. Now we're gonna create a depreciation schedule. And we're gonna put five columns in. End of year, units produced, depreciation expense for year, accumulated depreciation at end of year, and the book value at end of year. And one note about book value. The value in this column cannot go below the salvage value of the asset, which in this case is $500. Here are the units produced over the five years of useful life of the asset. At the end of year one, the equipment produced 1,200 units. So we put a one in the end of year column and 1,200 in the first row of the units produced column. Next, we need to calculate the depreciation expense for year one. And the formula for that is depreciation amount equals the depreciation per unit times the number of units produced. Plugging in, we have 50 cents, as we calculated a moment ago, times 1,200, the number of units produced. And this calculates to $600. So that is the depreciation expense for year one. For the fourth column, accumulated depreciation at end of year. This is the total amount of depreciation accumulated at the end of each year. So at the end of year one, the total amount of depreciation will be the $600 we just calculated. Now for the last column, the book value at end of year. This is the original cost of the asset minus the accumulated depreciation at the end of year. So the book value at the end of year one will be the original cost of $3,000 minus the accumulated depreciation at end of year one, $600, which equals $2,400. And year one is complete. For year two, we put a two in the first column and 1,000 in the units produced column. The depreciation expense for year two is 50 cents times the 1,000 units produced, which equals $500. The accumulated depreciation at the end of year two will be the depreciation for year one and year two. So $600 plus $500, which is $1,100. And the book value at the end of year two will be $3,000, the cost of the asset, minus $1,100, the accumulated depreciation, which equals $1,900 and year two is complete. And here are the numbers for years three and four. Now for the end of year five. And keep in mind that the book value at the end of year cannot go below the salvage value of $500. The units produced were 900, so we put that in. The depreciation expense will then be 50 cents times 900 units, which equals $450. The accumulated depreciation will be the depreciation for years one through four, plus the depreciation expense for year five, $450, which equals $2,650. And the book value will be $3,000, the original cost of the asset, minus $2,650, the accumulated depreciation, which equals $350. However, we cannot have a book value of $350. As stated earlier, the book value cannot go below $500. So we need to make some changes to end of year five so that we have a final book value of $500. To do this, we look at the book value at the end of the previous year, year four, which is $800. We need the book value at the end of year five to be at $500. So we subtract that from $800, which equals $300. So we need the depreciation expense to be $300 for year five. Next, we're gonna use the depreciation amount formula we've been using. Depreciation amount equals the depreciation per unit times the number of units produced. There were 900 units produced in year five, but we can't claim all of them because as we just saw, that would bring the book value below the $500 salvage value. So we need to use the formula and this time solve for units produced. Doing this by plugging into the formula, we have $300, the depreciation amount we need to be at, equals 50 cents 
are per unit depreciation times units produced. I've done the calculations on the screen, and we get units produced equals 600. Now we'll go back to the depreciation schedule and make the changes. For units produced, we have 600. The depreciation expense will be the 300 we calculated a moment ago. The accumulated depreciation will be the depreciation for years one through five, which now equals $2,500. And the book value will be $3,000, the original cost, minus the accumulated depreciation of $2,500, which equals $500 and our depreciation schedule for the units of production method is complete. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.